local girl has a new prosthetic arm thanks to a group of she's high school students. She's never had a prosthetic and her mother says she's been really excited about helping with uh, the design. This could undercut prosthetics and make them and much get more this, affordable. The materials cost the students less than $30. Universal solution for people who would never have dreamed of getting a prosthetic. My name is Hope and I am nine years old. This is Elizabeth. But those I really enjoy doing their hair. Yeah. This is a Chinese doll. I was adopted, so um, I got it from China. So I really like playing the piano. I really enjoy playing a song from Narnia, The Lion, The Witch, and the Wardrobe. I like being me, and I also like being crazy. first asked me if I wanted to be a part of this, I was surprised and teeny bit scared. I had met someone who worked with prosthesis. I looked at a few models and the models were really heavy and not very inviting to the color. When I heard it would be 3D printed and it wouldn't be so heavy, so heavy that I wouldn't be able to use it. Also, um, they would be able to fit the colors to my liking. Um, and so I decided I would give it a try. I saw how a, a young man was able to 3D print his own hand. And I thought, what a great idea. Our students know how to 3D model. Why not 3D print some things that would also help people? And so I thought about how I could use this in my classroom. Without 3M, this project isn't possible. We didn't have a 3D printer, and they stepped in and provided those things. We just had a really good idea. has been one of the greatest experiences of my entire life. I originally was afraid to do it because I thought it would interfere with one of my other clubs. So I just asked my mom to email him and find out when we would be meeting. And when we found out that it'd be on Mondays and Wednesdays, I realized that I had to make a sacrifice. And I am so glad that I did. It's been a lot of hard work. Uh, I come in after school Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays and I uh, put a lot of time into it. One of the challenges that we encountered was first just beginning. Luckily we found Enable and we partnered with them and then they sent us some um, uh, like basic models and then we just, oh well, this goes into another challenge we had to face. We had to uh, change the dimensions of the model to fit Hope for the longest time we had a uh, printer issue where it would just it would look really bad on the underside of whatever we were printing and obviously that's or that's not really acceptable so we had to go back recalibrate the printer several times i really have to work through it and at times it's frustrating but it really works in the end and it all pays off we had a lot of failed prints so whenever something even decent comes out i get really excited yes got something to work Whenever Hope tried on the first prototype, I was very excited to watch her put on the arm. The first time that she tried to pick something up, it really touched me. It was pretty cool because it was the first real prototype um, that we actually got to see some results. And then through the results, we got to see uh, the errors and the improvements that could be made upon that arm. It's fun to be in that role or just to, to help in, um, enable kids um, to um, take a leadership role, help other people apply the engineering skills that they've been learning in class. 
uh, all these big camera people were there, so it was really, really nerve-wracking. Like, I was on the news, it was... I personally liked it and didn't like it. finalized and knowing that it has helped her do more things, I mean, that there's an, in, that's a joy that, that is special. And she's just so excited about the arm, um, and that makes me excited too. Felt like I had gallons of butterflies in my stomach and I didn't know what to expect. So rewarding to see students have a chance to apply things that they've been learning, but also be able to help someone else. Working with Hope personally, it really taught me how to work one-on-one -on -one with someone and that engineering isn't just all about um, like working on something, it's about working with someone. Because of this project, I've decided to look more into biomedical engineering. Um, as a teacher though, it, it's always a joy for me to see students engaged. And uh, this project has engaged my students in a way that, that few projects um, have the ability to do. It's a perfect way for high schoolers to really get used to the engineering community. One word to describe this entire experience is enabling. Enable is the group that gives out arms to people who have limb differences, but this project has not only enabled us to keep learning and to progress in our skills, but it's also enabling hope. Since I'm a freshman, I'm able to start it now and I'm able to continue doing projects like this throughout the years up until I graduate so we can pass on this tradition of helping others and using our skills to make a difference rather than just learning about them in a classroom. This project with hope is only the beginning.